Hello everyone. I hope everyone's doing well. Um, I have this little cheap Chinese uh, brake lock, you know, disc brake lock for bikes or motorcycles or scooters, whatever. And um, I've tubular impressioned it before with my impressioning tool, but I've never single pin picked it. Um, because the regular, um, like Mantis type thing wouldn't fit it. But I got in the goat. And just a little while ago, of course off camera, I, uh, single pin picked this guy open. And then I had to, uh, single pin pick it back closed. So I'm only going to do one of it on there or try to do one. And I just want to make sure I got the... Focus right where you can see it, and yet I can get in there because I got seven pins I gotta mess with. And uh, this thing was fairly easy to tubular impression, but picking it is a different story. And I'm using this uh, Sparrows, no, it's actually a Peterson Jim. I thought I was using the Sparrows one that looked like a Peterson Jim. But I'm tensioning in it because that little foot will go in there and, and tension that inner ring. And you just go in. There's some pins like this one down here that is kind of in the way. I mean the tension wrench kind of gets in the way sometimes on one pin. Usually. All right, I pushed on pin seven, and I got a slight turn on the core. When I pick it all the way, this thing will pop up. If, if I get it picked. Sorry. I've got to get in here, and I think I'm occluding everything. I'll pull back a little bit on the move back here where I can attack it can you see now no damn it I knew this was this uh, view was gonna be really hard to to get because I can't see for crap and uh, I'm looking over the top of my glasses So I'm very nearsighted, so I've got to get very near to it. And you have to use your eyesight on this to find the damn pins, or, or you're pushing at nothing. I pushed on pin one and got a slight turn. Tighten it up in the vise there. <laughs> Is slipping. It took me a while to get it open the first time. And really, the only time that I've uh, done this, I've never captured it on video. I'm trying to do right now. Alright, I got a little bit more of a turn. We're getting somewhere. I think pins just came back up because our somehow reduced tension. <laughs> so I'm down there. Jab the hell out of him. You still can't see anything, can you? Damn it. Damn it, man. And all that rattling back there is the lock wall. I've almost got it. I think I got like one more pin to go. I could be wrong. Play out. Alright. Keep going. I don't want chipmunks to be involved, not in this. But 
they may they may very well be involved. Gotta get up oh there he is. I was having a hard time finding that pin right there. There we go. Now I've only got a quarter turn on him. So I've got to pick it again to get it to pop open. So we shall persevere. Alright. All this rattling. But I have to say this tool works perfectly um, as it was designed. I haven't used the other side yet, but I've, I've tried it on the... I tried its counterpart on the Sparrow's Comb picks that come with it. I mean, that you can get... I, I misplaced mine. I can't find them. They're, they're going missing. I haven't done a thorough search there. I feel like we're only one pin away from getting this thing. But I don't know which one of the seven is acting up. Oh, I got a slight turn on the core. I guess we got more to go because... There he is. <sighs> Popped him. Alright. So I have to say this is an excellent little tool. It's very sturdy. Um, you could grind this down here and make like a little uh, hook pick if you wanted. But I think this is pretty wide. It's like 50 thousandths. So it's not bad the way it's shaped and everything. And it works. So there you go, some kind of little Chinese, <coughs> I had him in there pretty tight, but it's just a little thing you push down and it locks, and it, it's like zinc or something body, it's pretty cheap, but that's the first time I did that on, on video. Uh, most tubular locks, you're going to have to do it at least one rotation, I mean at least two usually, uh, to get them to full open. And someone would require a one uh, three hundred sixty, but that was pretty cool. So, thank you for watching. Well, the cat was asleep over here. I kind of witnessed it sleeping. Happy picking to your tubes. Uh.